Every week many things are happening in MMORPG gaming world, so I have decided to bring to you every Sunday fresh news here on my YouTube channel. You will find out all you need to know about new upcoming MMORPGs, new events, new updates and much more just within few minutes time. So let's not waste time, let's dive into video. Before we start let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more MMORPG content in the future. I'm live streaming every evening about 7 o'clock Central European time, so join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. Ok, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, that was introduction, now let's dive into video. As you can see, I'm already here on official website of Odin Vaha Rising over there in Korea. And today I'm starting with this game because recently, actually within like uh, last 48 hours, we have get huge news from Kakao Games regarding release frame, time frame regarding global release of this game. You probably know that this game is already up over there in Korea in the east for a while. Reactions of players are actually pretty positive and we are all waiting to hear some kind of new information regarding western release of this game. Publisher Kakao Games actually have just recently revealed their quarter 3 2022 financial report and within that financial report we have get this. This table in front of you is showing us lots of different kind of games including Odin Valhalla Rising. All the way down on the end of this table you'll notice fourth quarter of 2023 Odin Valhalla Rising, MMORPG, Lionheart is developer of this game, PC plus mobile, yes you'll be able to play this game on your mobile devices and PC and release you can see region north america and europe so we will wait for release of this game until uh, fourth quarter quarter four of 2023 that is actually pretty far and you can see here what is interesting they are only mentioning here north america and europe what about south america other regions is it only north america and europe that remains to be seen, right? However, now we have officially confirmed that Odin Baha Rising will be released globally, let's say it on that way, North America and Europe, right? In quarter four of 2023. However, Kakao Games within this quarter three financial report have also mentioned many other games, including RS Rise of Guardians. This is huge new title, AAA quality MMORPG, yes, real MMORPG, which you'll be able to play on your PC and mobile devices. And you can see here, second quarter of 2023 domestic release. They have revealed that. So regarding RS Rise of Guardians, I'm preparing also some additional videos you will see those videos on my youtube channel very soon this is something exciting to play in the future we have seen some amazing gameplay trailers i mean gameplay trailers we have seen some trailers with beautiful graphic design right and also this is mmorpg right so i'm really excited about this game so like i have said you will see in the future some dedicated videos on my youtube channel regarding rs rise of guardians just for now to let you know you can see here second quarter of 2020 23 domestic release and regarding global release well you can see here basically no additional information also they have a mention here arcade war so let me show you here this is a new upcoming mmorpg developed by xl games you can see here first quarter of 2023 domestic release again here on this table i didn't see anywhere global release also pc plus mobile title we have here many other games i will focus only on mmorpgs well we have here eversoul collectible rpg game publishing nine arc a mobile title only global release incoming in first quarter of 2023 that is actually pretty interesting and we have also here Distera early access survival fps game uh, reality magic is um, developer of this game will be published on steam released on steam for pc of course right global release in quarter four of 2022 that is actually pretty interesting right so not mmorpg survival fps game this incoming in fourth quarter of 2022 
Check out this uh, quarter free financial report from Kakao Games on their official website. You'll find here lots of interesting information. Uh, obviously, mobile games again are earning much more money than PC games. You can see here from these charts. I will not read to you all of these numbers and data. Check it out over there on official website of Kakao Games. You can check full quarter free 2022 earnings release. For us at least, who are playing MMORPGs, most important information here was a release of RS, Rise of Guardians, still not known for global region, right? And regarding Odin Bahala Rising, this game should be released in North America and Europe in fourth quarter of 2023. Really, really far, right? In the previous week however we didn't get only this information i have to say previous week was really exciting we have also get officially confirmed release date of summoner war chronicles this is pc mmorpg also playable on mobile devices free to play game i assume i didn't see anywhere official information regarding that but this should be free to play mmorpg yes a real mmorpg this is summoner's war however it's a completely new ip summoner's war chronicles right mmorpg so we have get a release date this game will be released on november 10 yes really soon right on november 10 but there is a catch only in north america and canada I mean, USA and Canada, I should say it on that way. So only in North America, basically, right? United States and Canada, that's it. They didn't mention anywhere, Europe, South America, other regions, absolutely nothing. So this should be global release of this game. Pre-registrations are already up. And I have made dedicated video regarding Summoner's War Chronicles yesterday on my YouTube channel. Check it out to see some details regarding different kind of characters. So let me show you here. Summoners, Kaina, we have not Kaina, actually Kina, Cleef and Orbia. Then we have here different kind of monsters. Check my video from yesterday where I go into details regarding what is happening with Summoner's War Chronicles. For today's video, just to let you know, we have a release date confirmed for United States and Canada regarding Europe, South America. Well, still nothing new. If I see any kind of new information regarding a release date for Europe and South America, other regions, I will let you know about that. Also, I will try to play this game if I'll be able to. I'll try to play it, of course, after November 10 and i will show you some gameplay and review of this game on my youtube channel something interesting to try to play during november well actually very soon on november 10 and huge news appear in the previous week regarding blue protocol yes finally right after 14 months without any kind of new information from bandai namco i wouldn't say actually any kind of new information because about one month ago we have seen one interview with ceo of bandai namco where within that interview we have seen information that bandai namco is aiming for global market regarding blue protocol release however during last 14 months more than one year we didn't get any kind of new information regarding development of this game we we're all thinking well look maybe this game is actually cancelled however finally in the previous week about when just a few hours ago actually a little bit more maybe 10 hours ago i can show you this tweet from november 4th check it out here and i will translate to you this tweet basically we didn't get any kind of huge new information however finally after one year of silence here on official twitter account of blue protocol one tweet have appeared regarding blue protocol we are still continuing development toward the service release we are sorry to keep you waiting yes we are waiting for a long time right but we are preparing to announce the next development next week so please wait for the follow-up report so this is rough translation from japanese language to english language don't worry about that so for the next week they are preparing to announce the next development next week whatever this means right so next week we should finally get some kind of concrete information finally because seriously this is way too long right we should have played this game already during 2022 however now situation is not looking good this game is still in development it's not in in, in early stages of development for sure however because we have seen some classes we have seen some combat but now i don't know really right finally good news regarding blue protocol that means that game is still alive 
Bandai Namco is still working on this game and maybe next week we'll hear some concrete information regarding a release date, a release window or maybe some kind of testing phase. Who knows, right? And we can only hope for the best when I see some new information next week. I will let you know about that instantly here on my YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget about that because I'm following Blue Protocol for a long time. And whenever I see something interesting is happening with Blue Protocol, well, basically at this point in time, any kind of new information regarding Blue Protocol, I will let you know about that instantly here on my YouTube channel. So from the previous week, finally this tweet on Twitter, because you can see here, we didn't get any kind of tweet, uh, well, since 2021, September 1st, you can see here, this is May 31st, 2021, and now finally, November 4th, that was actually a day before yesterday, finally, new tweet, new information incoming. Let's go forward with Throne and Liberty, new upcoming MMORPG developed by NCSoft for PlayStation 5, Xbox, and PC. This game should be released in the first half of 2023, and now we're all waiting for G-Star 2022. Why? Because during that event, which will happen over there in Korea between November 17 and November 20, we should get maybe, maybe, it's not certain, new information regarding what is happening with development of Throne and Liberty. Recently, we didn't get any kind of new information. Within previous week, absolutely nothing new. I can show you here on official website of uh, NCSoft in Korea. There is nothing new regarding Throne and Liberty. Last previous uh, new information regarding Throne and Liberty was actually that gameplay footage from internal testing phase, which happened about one month ago, actually maybe even a little bit more. You can check lots of dedicated videos regarding Throne and Liberty on my YouTube channel, because for sure this game is already now one of the main focuses of my YouTube channel, of my content creation, because this will be something huge. Without any doubt, Throne and Liberty will be the biggest MMORPG release of 2023. However, from previous week, absolutely nothing new. I'm also waiting for G Star 2022. During that game show, we will have over there one person from NCSoft uh, uh, talking there about uh, different topics and for sure we'll get some, I mean, it's not possible that NCSoft will not give us any kind of new information regarding Throne and Liberty because I assume they have waited for G Star 2022 to give us something concrete. Maybe something regarding business model, maybe something regarding in-game features, we will see about that. However, I am following G-Star 2022, if I see any kind of new information regarding Throne and Liberty, and not only regarding this game, also regarding Bella Torres and many new upcoming MMORPG titles, I will let you know about that instantly here on my YouTube channel. Regarding previous week, absolutely nothing new regarding Throne and Liberty. Let's go forward with Iron Classic European release. And before I talk about that, let's check what is happening in Korea. Because very soon, on November 9, we are getting a new class, Executioner, on Iron Classic servers. Yes, you heard good. On Iron Classic servers, we are getting new class Executioner, not on Iron Live servers. This is something really huge, big move from NCSoft because for the first time, we are getting a new class on Iron Classic servers, not on Iron Live servers. That is showing us the path, actually. The focus of NCSoft is currently on Iron Classic, not anymore on Iron Live servers, which is nothing strange, I would say, because Iron Live servers, not only over there in Korea, in generally all over the world are basically dead. In North America, in Europe, Iron Live servers are dead. But Iron Classic servers are very alive. And you can see here this beautiful new class. We have already get some new information regarding Executioner. Check it out. Dedicated videos on my YouTube channel regarding this new leather kind of class. Yes, same gear as, I mean, same type of gear as Assassin and Ranger. You can see here also over there in Korea, they should get new servers and we should get a new event on November 7th. So that is actually tomorrow. I will check that live event. Maybe during that event we'll get, I'm actually sure, we'll get some new additional information regarding this big new update which will happen in Korea on November 9th. Regarding Iron Classic European release, again, same story. Basically, I can repeat to you same sentence from the previous week, right? 
in the previous week absolutely nothing new i was checking every single day few times per day maybe galea's community manager of ion gameforge finally did publish something regarding official information regarding iron classic european release sadly there is nothing new and we are now five weeks after that live stream five weeks and they have announced right gameforge during that live stream on the end of that live stream new information incoming well in the weeks right not months and now we are like five weeks after that live stream what to say except we can only hope for the best and let's hope that during next week we'll get new information something concrete regarding iron classic european release still no date but i'm like i wouldn't say 100 certain but yeah we'll get it the question is only when let's hope that will happen soon and if we don't get any kind of new information during the next week i will be seriously worried because next week will be week number six that is month and a half after that live stream that's that's way too much you know i don't know seriously that's way too much i can understand that gameforge doesn't want to reveal any kind of information until it's officially confirmed that is clear of course they don't want to do that right but it's six it's five weeks now next week it will be six weeks after that live stream it's way too much it's way too much now uh, we are running out of patience uh, bit by bit and uh, hype is still real but uh, this is this is way too long now right so when i see any kind of new information regarding iron classic european release i will let you know about that instantly here on my youtube channel sadly from previous week absolutely nothing new however i think within next one week right next seven days after this video you will watch this video on sunday right we'll get some information we, we need to get information right because if we don't get it then i don't know seriously right this is way too much let's go forward with albion online albion online is a free-to-play mmorpg which you can play on your pc and mobile devices and as you can see here in front of you huge new update is coming to servers of albion online on november 21st name of this update is beyond the whale so let's check some main features we are getting the mists new realm of the game this sounds actually pretty exciting and don't worry i'm not turning this into a reading session let's just check main features of this new update so the mists new realm we have here brazilian the city in the mists the mists pvp and pve fey armor new enchantment level pristine roads of our rework quality of life improvements and additional improvements so big new update is coming to albion online on november 21st did i remember the date exactly yes i did this game actually is one very interesting option to play during 2022 still you can check it out there's still many players playing this game it's a free to play mmorpg and i have seen basically during this year 2022 developers were active all the time we are getting we are getting some kind of new events and new updates so albion online isometric perspective mmorpg don't forget about that so perspective of lost ark diablo on december for example right uh, don't forget about this game if you like to play isometric mmorpgs playable on pc and mobile devices check it out albion online is getting a new update on november 21st i might even make some dedicated video regarding albion online and try to play this new update because i didn't try to play it for a while now it was actually not that recently i had lots of fun so just to let you know albion online is getting new update beyond the wheel on november 21st check it out let's go forward with lost ark today i'm talking about lost ark because it's november today is november 6th and we are getting new class reaper during november we still didn't get any kind of official date regarding release of new class reaper but come on that should happen probably very soon also don't forget if you don't like reaper then you can try to play summoner during december so we are getting two new classes within next two months regarding lost start without any doubt this game is still highly popular and played here in the west and also over there in korea i can show you here some numbers you can see here 24 hour peak on steam database 236 
thousand players this is actually pretty high i know there are still some bots in the game without any doubt but at least you have 120 150 thousand players real players right this is actually pretty amazing also order in korea lost stark is still very popular i have seen over there on a few uh, gaming ranking list a lost stark went a little bit down however it's still within top five games over there in korea when i see something interesting is happening with lost stark here in the west or over there in korea i will let you know about that instantly here on my youtube channel because i'm playing this game well basically since release over there in korea and of course i'm playing it right now after western release regarding new classes in korea still no news if i see any kind of news regarding female berserker which should be next new class over there in korea i will let you know about that here on my youtube channel because whatever they have over there in korea sooner or later probably later we'll also get here in the west regarding western version of the game we are looking to forward to play a reaper during november absolutely amazing class I will try to play it, I will also make some guides for new players and I will use my Punica power pass, I still have one power pass left on my, on my account, I will use it on Reaper for sure. For this week, I can't give you any kind of release date regarding Reaper because that doesn't exist. When I see some new information, I will let you know about that let's go forward with new world as you have probably noticed lately on my youtube channel i'm talking much more often about this mmorpg published and developed by amazon games reason is simple i can show you here new world is getting alive again i mean this game was almost dead i mean many of you would say come on 20,000 players 25,000 players that was a peak number of players basically maybe few months back let me show you here 25,000 players you can see here in may you will say come on that's not dead of course it's not entirely dead 25,000 players is still uh, some players playing the game look at this june 20,000 players is peak however check this out 24 hour peak right now 112,000 players 70,000 players playing the game right now this is not a surprise because amazon games have finally succeed with uh, implementing lots of new i wouldn't say lots of new updates but within last uh, half year yeah actually we have got lots of new updates including last one brimstone sands brimstone sands also we have got lots of new events and don't forget about fresh start servers right so this actually happened on november 2nd so regarding new world check it out if you have time i still didn't manage to play it right now after this uh, change regarding the number of players but i will do that for sure because this here is looking pretty amazing and i can see reactions of players are really positive so amazon games on the end of 2022 actually now during november have managed to revive this mmorpg from very bad situation 13 months after release, 112,000 players, 24 hour peak is looking very good. Check it out, New World is looking currently very interesting and it will be very interesting to see what will happen with New World during 2023. I will follow everything what is happening with New World and I will let you know about that here on my YouTube channel. If I see some big new updates, big new changes, I will make some dedicated videos. Just for today, for this news MMORPG video every Sunday, which you can see here on my YouTube channel, just to let you know, New World is looking alive again. Check it out. Let's go forward with Traha Global. Traha Global is a new MMORPG, well, new to the West, recently released globally on November 2nd. You can play this game on App Store and Google Play on your mobile devices and of course on your PC by using Steam. In the previous week, actually, I had tried to play this game for release on PC on Steam and I have to say pretty much I am disappointed. Regarding features of this game regarding graphic design i'm not that much disappointed because yes this is unreal engine 4 mmorpg real mmorpg with lots of content to play uh, like i have said uh, interesting graphic design and uh, nothing strange a uh, normal leveling process i would say however i was highly disappointed regarding user interface 
user interface for this game is looking like user interface for mobile devices developers of the game didn't change anything for pc version of the game so yes this is one mobile port to pc sadly i was disappointed a lot because like i have said this game is a new mmorpg here in the west already released over there in the east in 2019 and i was hoping come on this would be one very interesting option to play during november because this game when you read it on paper in theory have everything it's a rvr mmorpg two factions lots of different kind of classes actually weapons lots of content to play pvp wise pv wise Unreal Engine 4, well, what could you ask for more, right? Well, you could ask if you want to play it on PC, you could ask for one user interface dedicated to PC, right? On mobile devices, I didn't try to play it, maybe it's good game, however, you can see here mixed reviews 40 percent of the 488 user reviews for this game are positive and regarding number of players here on steam database situation is not looking that good we had over there 8,000 players for release of the game actually that was three days ago yeah basically for release of the game and now you can see here 24 hour peak 4485 players and number of players is going down i had tried to play this game uh, after release basically same day when it was released on november 2nd i have also live stream a little bit uh, gameplay of this game and i have tried to play a day after that and after that i have decided i'll not play it anymore that user interface yeah it's way too much for me you know it's user interface of mobile devices not meant for pc so boys and girls ladies and gentlemen as you can see many exciting things happened during the previous week we have get this announcement i mean announcement we have get this quarter free 2022 earnings release from kakao games and within that quarter free release uh, let's check it out where is it we have get that table with many games included and regarding you can see actually here release windows for many games and for many regions check it out over there on kakao games official website also we have get official announcement regarding release date of summoners war chronicles check my video from yesterday regarding this game this game will be released in north america that means in united states and canada on november 10 regarding europe and south america still no news regarding blue protocol finally finally after 14 months without any kind of official tweet here on official twitter account to blue protocol one tweet have appeared uh, i mean it's nothing huge but within next week we should get some new information regarding development of blue protocol i will let you know about that in a dedicated video next week regarding throne and liberty nothing new happened in the previous week however g star 2022 is coming very soon on november 18 gentlemen from nc soft will talk will have speech over there maybe we'll get some new information regarding throne and liberty and regarding iron classic european release sadly in the previous week nothing new however november 9 is coming very soon you'll get a new class execution over there in korea that means i will let you know regarding details of this class everything what you need to know and of course when i see some new information regarding iron classic european release i will let you know about that instantly here on my youtube channel in the meanwhile you can try to play new world because recently yes this game is looking very alive and don't forget about lost ark because we are getting a new class reaper during november so in mmorpg gaming world many things are happening if you are interested into MMORPGs, check my YouTube channel for lots of gameplay videos, guides, news and reviews from world of MMORPG gaming with main focus on new upcoming PC MMORPGs. Let me know in the comments below video which new MMORPG are you waiting for to play after release and which MMORPG are you playing nowadays. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of MMORPG content in the future. I am live streaming every evening about 7 o'clock Central European time, so join me on my live streams to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. See you soon.